If we had a more sophisticated approach to exams and strengthened classroom assessment for the HSC, we wouldn't need this additional calculation, the ATAR. We need to design assessments with the learner experience in mind. We've all moved to the user experience and technology, but we haven't done this in assessment and education. We need a system that can be more inclusive, so it must be built to the needs of the learner. Putting my psychologist hats on, this current generation has a lot of pressure on them that previous generations would not have had in their lives. And we need to be sensitive to those pressures. Asking them to deal with a completely unnecessary high stakes element of their learning doesn't seem productive. When they were introduced, the ATAR and its predecessors were welcomed. They were based on what is taught, not tests of aptitude or social status. The same rules applied to everyone. They were inexpensive for universities to use, and scores were reasonable predictors of success at university. However, the idea of making such big decisions by exam-based ranking was a source of criticism right from the start. Do students who are best at exams make the best doctors or teachers or engineers or citizens? What about students who hadn't had a fair go at school? Or students choosing courses to not waste the marks rather than out of genuine interest and commitment? Universities increasingly use evidence provided by principals or interviews or via portfolios or offering bonus points or early entry or combinations of these. The great strengths of the ATAR as a common currency, compar comparability, quality of assessment, book learning and transparency are now increasingly at a discount. Students have to navigate a confusing array of cloudy options and shop around for the easiest option. Universities can tack this way and to, that to keep the numbers up. Some industry insiders even say that the whole selection system is broken. By the end of grade 12, myself and many of my peers were extremely burnt out. There was a lot of pressure placed on obtaining an ATAR by schools, and my final actual ATAR was basically useless due to my early entry offers. ATAR was extremely stressful and had a negative toll on my mental health. The current system does not adequately adjust for people from diverse backgrounds and further perpetuates disadvantage. There are still huge disparities in resources and support offered between private schools, public schools, and schools in rural and remote areas, which means private schools will have higher densities of high ATARs. Due to my low socioeconomic background, my parents encouraged me to apply for scholarships to private high schools due to the perceived educational advantage. This in itself is a privilege to have a supportive home life.